Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support. Now these are your readings for April, but before I do the tarot, I would like to mention a couple of things. Um, the painting that you saw at the beginning of my video, and there's another one featured right at the end of the video, they are done by Maria Simeonido, and her address on Instagram is at the bottom of the um, the painting that you will see on your screen. So for those of you that are art lovers, she's a wonderful new talent who's really going places. I love her style and I will be working with her in the future. I will tell you about it when it's time. Um, at the moment, I'd like to also announce that I will have I will be featuring a um, another talent, which is a tarot and psychic. Her name is Bellatrix Star, and I have shared her videos on my Facebook, and I do that all the time. I follow her because, you know, I love her work. She's always on point. She's, you know, her readings always resonate with me, so... That's why I am going to feature her. She's going to do a video for me, especially on love. So it's going to be a love reading and it's going to be in the next few days. So look out for that. Um, and she also, you know, offers private readings and there's not a long waiting time to receive a, a reading from her. So have a go, you know, go to her channel check her out and see what she offers she's really really good she's a double Scorpio so uh, very strong on the uh, occult services the metaphysics she's got it so give her a chance have a look at her work and see if it resonates with you and as I said I will be uh, putting the link in the bottom in the description box but I will be featuring her on my channel so look out for the video very soon in the next few days and let's talk about the astrology a little bit. I won't go into a lot of detail because I don't want to make these videos too long. So what's most important is first of all we're in Aries season so happy birthday to you Aries people out there and we're having a new moon in Aries on the 5th of April which will be in a few days, but make sure that you put your wishes out to the universe uh, roughly on the 7th when you can actually see that new moon crescent in the sky. So it's the first new moon of the astrological year. So it's a very special new moon. So take the advantage and send your wishes out to the divine. Now, there's still, you know, Mercury has come out of retrograde about three days ago, two, three days ago, but little Mercury is still on top of Neptune, so there's still, you know, a lot of confusion around. So make sure that um, you still try and communicate clearly. I think that with the sun being in Aries, because it's very happy there, slowly the information is starting to come through. Um, signs, synchronicities are coming through. Actually, today for me, I was sitting out there, out in the backyard and a feather fell from the sky. Now I don't know for those of you that have looked up what a feather means, um, you know, in the spiritual world, it's got a lot of meanings and I find it to be a beautiful sign. So for those of you that are interested or that it's happened to you, please comment in the, dis you know, in the comments below. Um, and, you know, little signs and things like uh, these are going to be happening for us from now on. I believe that pieces of information are going to start coming through. And I'd also like to say that in about a week and a half, so in about 10 days, Jupiter will be going retrograde. So that's a big, big thing that I, I truly believe that there will be blessings coming in. That's my intuition. That's what Jupiter retrograde um, is saying to me, especially that it's in its home sign of Sagittarius. So it's going to be retrograde for about four months from April to August. 
so it's going to be a fair uh, bit of time and that'll be interesting to see what comes up so you know even though mercury's come out come out of retrograde jupiter in about 10 days is starting to go retrograde and then um, there's other planets that will start retrograding as well so you know pluto not so long after and then saturn as well so we're moving into a time of retrogrades people so it's a time to you know it's a time to work on things being given the chance to do that that's what it's all about so let's look at the positive side of retrogrades i totally see retrogrades as positive times okay to have the time have the chance to go in go you know redirect the energies turn inwards and just have a chance to work on things see things and you know we know that with retrogrades the energies are very powerful so wow having you know saturn pluto and jupiter retrograde in the near future is a big deal so i'm so looking forward to mercury moving into aries venus is in pisces it's finishing up a big cycle you know pisces is the last sign of the zodiac and then when venus joins um aries as well uh, i think it's all systems go even though some parts of our life we will have the chance with the retrogrades of course to work on so let's go on to your readings right now because there's a lot of work to be done thank you so much for your support i do appreciate it very much thank you thank you and just you know um something that i've been thinking of doing because i've been quite busy and that's why the readings tend to be late uh, recently i've been quite busy so i'm actually thinking of putting a hold on the personal and private readings um, so if you're needing a personal reading please get in quick because i have a feeling around the 15th of april i'm going to be stopping that for about a month so for those of you that want a personal reading from myself um, i would advise to do that quickly because i'm almost um, full and the only suggestion from me then would be that you could get a personal reading from my fellow tarot reader and psychic bellatrix star uh, and again as i said she's very very good so that's up to you guys just putting it out there um, so you know what's happening all right let's go on to your readings hello dear cancer welcome to divine debut this is kathy speaking this is your april 1st till the 15th 2019 love and general reading and it's the divine spread so dear cancer hopefully you're all well we've got a new moon starting on the 5th of april and that's going to be in aries so beautiful beautiful time it's the first new moon of the astrological new year so it's a very special time don't forget to make your wish on the 7th when you can actually see the the moon up in the sky so let's happening let's see what's happening with you dear cancer what's happening karmically with you what energies are you working with at this time okay so we have temperance you know, intemperance does speak of Sagittarian energy, but it's also got a lot to do with patience. It's the angels, it's the divine. Something is being worked out on your behalf from the universe. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. So be patient, you know, with um, the energies that we're working with, Venus, Neptune, Mercury, and the moon, as I'm doing your reading says that there isn't a lot of clarity at this time so be patient i believe that with the uh, the new moon in aries things are going to be starting but even better than that would be roughly around the 15th 17th of april when mercury which is clarity will be moving into aries so 
Cancer, let's see what's happening for you and your divine spread for the 1st till the 15th of April 2019. Love and general reading. Let's see what fell out. And you've got a wish. This is the card of Aquarius. This is beautiful. Let me take the divine position, which is what is happening planetarily for Cancer. And we've got the Knight of Swords, so quick energy, very quick uh, movement. This is action, taking action, uh, moving into the future quickly. Now, you may be dealing with an Aquarius and strong Sagittarian energies as well. Let's see what's hidden from you. And you know, the Knight of Swords can be a difficult conversation, which needs to be had as well. And I will be taking more cards. Let's see in the hidden position. You've got the Empress. So what you don't know is that you will be receiving the harvest. This is love. This is um, manifestation, abundance, all those beautiful things. Now this is Venusian. Venus is um, usually depicted on this card. So Venus is the ruler of Taurus and Libra. Taurus is our values. Libra is our partnerships. So yeah, this is also motherhood. This is something that will be birthed um, soon, maybe in six months. It's growing. It's starting to happen. Let's see what's the rest of your spread. So in the recent past for Cancer, we've got temperance again. This is a reoccurring theme that when I get double messages, and I've gotten a lot of those in these readings, that means that this is the most important message for you. So temper yourself. Something is being worked out for you, dear Cancer. Do not fret. The energies are really, really good so far. Let's look at the now. And you've got the King of Cups, which is your energy. This is you, mainly for most of you. This is your energy. You're a king. Um, so emotionally, you're sitting pretty. But this can also be you being open to love. Now, you could be dealing with another water sign, obviously. So if it's not their sun sign, it could be their moon or their rising, of course. Could also be their Venus, if they're female, Mars, if they're male. And I'm going to say, you know, the North Node is in your sign. So you are, there are many, many changes that you will be dealing with up until next March. So very, very important time. Let's look at what is your goal, what you're aiming for, dear Cancer. <laughs> A wish. You've got two wish cards, and I've just done Leo, which I did mention Cancer there, and they had the two with wish cards. So what's happening in your career house, let's say, in your mid-heaven area, for those of you that are familiar with the astrological um, zodiac, you know, with the horoscope, that's happening in your mid-heaven area, which is your goals. You've got in your home, you've got a wish happening. This is in your foundation area, in your family area. This is in your work work area. So things are looking really, really handsome right now. Let's look at the action and advice for cancer. And you've got the Ten of Wands, which says that you're practically at the end. You're getting to that goal. But yes, it's a bit of a burden right now. You're very busy extremely busy to the point that you don't have anything else time to do apart from working working hard and the outcome dear cancer is the hierophant and the hierophant is some sort of you know a hierarchy if you are working in a large firm you know there are different stages of you know climbing that ladder to becoming the manager, to becoming the boss, the person that's in in charge, the director. Um, and it's not easy. So it's a bit faceless. So you feel that, as you can see here, we've got the Hierophant is without a face. So I think that the structures in your life are a bit faceless. So I feel that there is a sense of being lost in a sense here. You're a bit lost at this time, and you know the Hierophant is a number five. So fives always bring in change. 
some of you could be working for someone that is quite quite restrictive quite difficult to deal with sorry I thought my video paused for a second and I thought I wasn't recording so yeah so if you're working in a corporate environment let's say where there is no face um, it looks as though you're not you feel as though you're not in the right place or um, if you're wishing to become the person in charge the person that's giving the orders and that's pro that could be something that you're looking at well maybe you don't have the information yet maybe you're hoping for a you know a what's it called a promotion sorry maybe you're hoping for a promotion but it seems as though it's not something that is showing up at this time even though you've got even though you have two wish cards there's something about the hierophant that is a, a little bit worrying for me here and it's funny you know the hierophant does speak of your beliefs it speaks of doing things in a traditional way I feel that with this card there is no tradition here so you're doing things in a very untraditional way and you know you could be even stepping over boundaries the boundaries trying to get to a successful uh, position but this is not something that you want to be doing I don't like that so I'm going to take another card and I'm going to take it now I want to see more clarity on the Hierophant what are the changes because I feel that the energy is a little bit brutal it's faceless it's emotionless So maybe you're feeling like a bit of a robot at work. If that's the case, well, then I would say that it's time to change. It's time to do something differently. Make that change. And we've got, no. Yeah, I feel as though you, especially with that eye above his head, you know, big brothers watching here, I feel that you're under the thumb, you're being looked upon, the focus is on you and you may not even know it. Um, but if you do feel as though you are under scrutiny, then you're not you're not you're gonna rebel, I feel. You're not gonna do it the way that someone else would. You're not going to accept this energy. Let's take another card. And we've got the seven of pentacles. So yes, yeah, someone is looking at you, dear cancer. And you're looking at the situation as well. Let's take another card. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. So maybe you're putting in more work than what you're getting back. I feel that there is a sense of stinginess here. They're holding back on the promotion. They're holding back in giving you that raise. So I believe that you're going to change. Let's look at the Knight of Swords. I feel as though you're going to make that change. Career change. Now this is a marriage, a committed partnership or relationship, um, again, again, it's under change, it's undergoing change um, because maybe there isn't the equality in giving and receiving values, there's no value here. You've been pouring yourself into this and it looks as though you're not being appreciated so I feel that that's where the change is going to come so let's look at the divine position what's this knight of swords in the divine position seven of cups so being given choices but everything's still up in the air it's as though there is no clarity know that holding back is probably the right thing to do it's not the right time to be clear on things you're pushing you're pushing for clarity but it's not meant to show up. I'm going to take one more card though. I'm going to insist and let's see if we can get more clarity for you. And we've got the Six of Pentacles, which is great. Which is great. There is going to be more equality in whatever you are dealing with here. At the end, you finally get, you know, it's the Six of Pentacles. So there's giving and receiving equally. So you're pushing for a change, you're pushing for something to 
to happen and it finally does that's what I see with the six of Pentacles here let me just push those cards up a bit okay let's go to the rest of the cards so we've got the star card here and the star card is Aquarius Aquarius is wishes and dreams it's working amongst a group being in an association but doing things differently you're doing things in a different way now you could be dealing with someone who's got strong Aquarius what else seven of swords mm -hmm. seven of swords speaks of intelligence yes but it's also the stealth card now if you're dealing with someone that you know in your home and your foundation someone that's been quite sneaky someone who could even be communicating in over the internet you know the star card is social media so there could be some sort of a deception within communication or maybe you've had to read in between the lines dear cancer now it feels like like someone's trying to get away with something or there's been some sort of a preparation some sort of a preparation has happened but then someone's bailed so maybe someone's as, as I could see through the illustration here someone's lit that fire and then they've like left it they've left it they've got something to do but they've left that fire burning so what can that mean to you you know the star and the fire here are quite similar so the light is here but there's information that's missing that's what I want I wanted to say there's information missing here so let's take the Empress which is in the hidden position and we've got the ten of cups so beautiful 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 ten of cups is everything that you desire everything that you wish okay the temperance here in the recent past we've got the eight of Pentacles but with this eight of Pentacles it looks as though someone is really building on you know they're um, they're protecting what they've built so it's very much like the nine of wands as you can see this person is putting the roof on top of this cubby house which he's building for his loved ones his precious ones so there is protection working hard to protect what you've built dear cancer and that's all about what that's all about what you are cancer is the fourth house of home and family so you are investing a lot in your foundation you are investing and protecting the people and the situations the things that you have let's take the king of cups and we've got the king of pentacles two kings and I believe that this is probably the same person so this is someone who's got an open heart but their finances are very very important to them so the king of pentacles is usually Taurus Capricorn or Virgo for me it's more Taurus now the king of cups is your energy as well so as I said it looks as though you're trying to put money away for a rainy day you're seriously doing business here but you're still open to love you're still open to love now could the king of cups let's say because he looks older than the king of pentacles be, there is an age difference between these two kings for some of you this could be a father um, if you know you're showing up as the king of pentacles then the king of cups would be a dad could even be someone that's passed on um, and it can go the other way around so if you are the king of cups then the king of pentacles could be a son so let's look at the I'm gonna take one more card on the now position and we've got the two of swords so there is a decision this is the two of swords some sort of a decision what's more important for you dear cancer is it your financial situation or is it your emotional self your heart and you know what's in your heart is it the money or is it love um, is it this or is it that there is some sort of a choice now for those of you that are choosing between an earth sign and a water sign um, 
it's funny because these are swords and it's the intellect right and you're more of a heartfelt your water so it's not an easy decision for you to make so two of swords is usually with someone who's got a blindfold here they're not wearing a blindfold they can see they can see the truth so that means that obviously they'll be able to make their choice since they've got the truth it's just a moment that they're pausing to make the decision let's look at that nine of cups and we've got too many cards so no nine of cups in your crowning position nine of wands which I just mentioned two nines up here you're almost there almost there I'd like to okay I was going to say that I'm going to look at the temperance card and we have three cards all right so we've got the knight of pentacles which is slow and steady movement forward now this is earth so Taurus Virgo Capricorn we've got the three of cups which is a celebration obviously and we've got the seven of wands which says that you've got the higher ground you just need to keep persevering you look quite successful there though you don't look as though you're putting a lot of energy it's as though you're taking a break um, so sl slowly moving into success and I think that you've already set the foundation dear cancer and you're at the seven so I believe that at this time because it's a seven you've also got the guidance of the divine which is giving you the advantage right it's giving you the advantage so your slow and steady forward movement is giving you the advantage as well because you may have strong earth in your chart and I feel that because of the knight of pentacles now usually the knight of pentacles for me is mainly Virgo energy but it, as I said it could be any other earth sign as well so if it was Taurus let's say you're looking at your values you're moving slowly if it's Capricorn then it's slowly and steadily like you're working really hard let's look at the ten of wands which is in the action and advice so you've got the nine and then the ten of wands interesting wow you've got the Sun so Leo is very strong in your chart and as I said you came up in the Leo reading so I would suggest you go and watch it now this card was ready to come out so I'm gonna take it the Sun is true love the Sun is children it's taking a risk whatever creative project you're working on is gonna succeed do not worry about that the Sun is also children so you're working really hard on your foundation as I said you're working very hard to be able to provide for your children dear cancer and here we've got the Emperor so you've got the Emperor and the Empress and this is a couple but it seems as though they've got their backs turned to each other at this time so this is the three and the four you are setting you are putting those ones down you're ready to put them down you're ready like your your foundation is getting very very strong but there is some sort of a distance between your other better half but I only think it's I think I truly feel that this is only a matter of time now because we've got Aries and Taurian energy here Aries is where the Sun is I do believe that your stability your foundation will steady will get harder will get more stable in the time of Aries so no I want to take one more card on the foundation and then I will take some Sabilas and we've got the moon card which is your energy this is for me this is Cancerian energy because the moon rules the fourth house of cancer but we also say that this is Piscean so this is illusions this is dreams this is perception and the way perce our perception is right now 
it's very hard. So as I, as I say, pay attention to your dreams. It's the time of Pisces still. Uh, Venus is there, the moon is there, which is going to bring up a lot of um, messages through your dream state, dear Cancer. So that's, that's what could be happening, that you're going to see the light in through your dreams and you may also receive messages of whatever you felt was deceptive around you whoever was deceptive around you let me see what the um now position shows with the two of swords the king of pentacles and the king of cups so we've got bambino which is a child or it's just new energy we've got domestico which can be help but it can also be lack of trust not so trusting energy and here we've got Emmanuel which is the ace of wands so this is a spiritual bond now we do have two males here so it can be a same-sex relationship where we've got an earth sign as well as you know you which you are cancer so earth and water um, this is a spiritual bond this is some sort of a contract. Now, this can be a contract in business as well, of course. So we've got two kings and we've got the emperor as well. So the two kings could actually be, they could be even brothers. They could be, you know, um, you with your brother-in-law, you with a nephew doing business. I would say that the emperor could be someone who is, the leader now it could be that you're the emperor dear cancer or that you're hoping to become the emperor remember what i said about here this energy here but there is an agreement here you know imeno is a spiritual bond his two people that are really well matched and again because it's a wand this could be all about business but it's also creative Okay, it's also inspiration. Let's take on the outcome position. So we've got the Hierophant, the Seven of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles is also very Taurian energy for me. So we've got Fidelta, which is like the Nine of Cups. Loyalty, companionship, friendship. Here we've got Il Namiko. Some of you may have thought that someone was your friend, but they've turned out to be your foe. But there is a change happening because the Ilnamiko is the snake that is transforming. So the change is here. And what do we have? We have the agreement. So it's an institution. It's, you know, a business. It's something that's going to last a long time. And this is the Two of Cups. Now, if this has got to do with family, then this could be a home. It could be a mansion, like a uh, quite a uh, an expensive uh, home that is being built. Look at the four. As you could see, there's a lot of money in in your reading. Okay, he's building that foundation. He's building a strong foundation, being very careful with his money, and therefore investing in. And this could even be investing in property. This could even be a business. Yes, it can be a business. I'd like to take a look at the Emperor, the Sun, and the Ten of Wands. And you know, as I said, um, I feel that for some of you, it could be because out of the two kings, I said that one was older. Maybe he was someone that passed on. Maybe that was the Emperor. And you could be following along in their footsteps. You are now turning into the emperor. And you're going by the guidebook of the emperor. Okay, so let's take three Sibylas on that. So we've got Jealousia, which is past uh, regrets and hurt. This is like the Eight of Swords. So being mentally feeling as though you're blocked. 
Um, we've got Alegres al Core. It's also the card of jealousy, yeah? So five of cups. The five of cups is like seeing the glass half empty than half full, but you need to change your perspective because I feel that there are regrets here. There's no use in looking at the past, but it's it's a time to look towards the future. Now, this is Alegres al Core, so there is some sort of celebration here, though. And here we've got Denaro, which is the Ace of Pentacles, security, stability, um, the safe. There's money here. There's financial prosperity within a wedding. This is also the Six of Cups, which speaks of children. It speaks of trust. Um, you need to trust in the uh, divine purpose. You need to trust in your partner. You need to trust that you will stabilize and your hard work will give you the fruit and um, of course this could be someone from your past as well maybe you are crying over the past maybe you didn't things weren't done in the right way in the past but now things are changing and there's more happiness there's clarity coming through with the sun overall it's it's a beautiful beautiful reading because we've got temperance right in the middle. Let's take three Sibylas. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles, we've got the Three of Cups, and we've got the Seven of Wands. I thought maybe a card flipped over, but it didn't. Let's take three Sibylas for the middle position. And we have Amore, which is Little Cupid. This is like the Four of Cups. We've got Amalato, so low morale, Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is, of course, it can be low morale, but it can also mean taking time out. Yes, resting. And here we've got the card of Superbia. So this is the Two of Wands. It's as though the door has opened for you and you're ready to step through. But it's also a choice. So you are making some sort of a choice. And, you know, the superbia is can also be a card of vanity. So this can be slight ego within relationships. Or I would say that some it could be some of you pushing through for love, pushing through to celebrate. Let's take, and, you know, someone, maybe your partner is being a little bit... Um, Maybe they've got a strong ego and that would say that they could be coming from a, an abundant place. And when I say abundant place, I mean they could be someone who's got a lot of wealth. Now, this could either be your partner or yourself. And that's just only natural. Okay. It, it's not right, but it comes with the, uh, with the money. Let's take one more card. And we've got the merchant. So yeah, the business owner is changing through thought, through thought process, through business. Um, things will be changing. There will be communication. There is a very important decision to be made to be communicated in relation to change within contracts. So that could be for love. That could be for business. That could be for anything. So any partnership. It is a number 13, which brings on the change. Things are changing up for you. I think that your low morale, you're going to have, you're going to pick up. Things are finding up for you. I'm going to take one more card, dear Cancer, just one more. No. And we've got the pleasant conversations sitting around a table. This is like the Ace of Cups. So some sort of communication with co-workers, family, your partner. There is something pleasant, something that's going to make you very happy. You will begin be beginning something that's going to make you very happy here. It's the Ace of Cups. So the transformation and change that's coming through, has holds a lot of promise. 
All right, dear Cancer, I'm going to take an angel answer for you. And I'd like you to think of a question. So I see agreements here. I see the Ace of Cups. I see the Two of Cups. I see stability coming through. Emotionally, this month is going to be really nice. You've got quite a few wands as well, which, wow. So you're almost there, dear Cancer, almost. Ready to take your angel answer. Archangel Michael, please enlighten me. I need an answer for Cancer. Within the next few months, Okay, so within the next few months, that's quite promising. Let's read from the book. In the next few months, what you are asking about will occur. Divine timing means that other people's free will choices are also involved. So keep the faith while all of the pieces of this puzzle come together and the situation resolves itself beautifully. Okay, so dear Cancer, very, very nice, pretty good. What I like is the Six of Pentacles here in the Divine Position. And you know what? I'm going to take just one more card for you. One more card because I want to see what this equilibrium is. And, uh, you know, the reading I did for Leo, I also told them that they need to give something out Um Give to the needy, give to the poor, and I think that you need to do that. Um, what we give out, we receive. So I think that this calls for you not to hold back. Don't hold back on your heart. Don't hold back on your finances. Don't hold back on the goods that you have. Share. That's the advice for you, dear Cancer. And let's see, one more card here. And we've got the Five of Pentacles. So Five of Pentacles is, wow, it's, of course, it's a sense of feeling lack. So remember what I just said, give to the needy. Someone is seriously asking for something from you because fives come in to bring change. Now, I think that you're going to make the change and it's as though you're giving out and therefore you're receiving. So I know that when you give out, what's going to be the change I'd like to ask the divine what the change is going to be. So what is cancer getting out of this, out of giving? What are they getting? And they're getting the queen of wands. So the queen of wands is leadership. It's a Leo Sagittarius Aries. It's luck because this is the, the lucky queen. She's a business owner. She's a leader. She's spontaneous. She's passionate. And um, she's also very, very giving. So you will be sitting on the throne like this. Now, this could be a partner that you're interested in. This could be a um, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising uh, leader that is coming into your, into your life. And she seems quite decisive. So that's another fire sign now I don't know who this is for your particular situation but what I do know is that the Queen of Wands is someone who's very creative you've also got the Empress here so could it be the same person because you know the Empress can be Aries so this could even be Aries energy as well Cancer one more card on the Empress and the Ten of Cups. I love it. I love it. And we've got change. Oh, my God. Death and transformation. Wow. Scorpio. Scorpio brings much change for you. And what's the change? It's a big, fat pentacle. So, you know, for those of you that have had uh, miscarriage in the past do not fret there is another another um, pregnancy that will go to term um, this is a brand new steady stable beginning okay now we've got Scorpio here as well so Scorpio is Pluto so let go of the old dear cancer 
you're letting go of the old within I would say more than likely in where the south node is that's where the changes are happening for you so south node is in your obviously your relationship house partnership house and in your foundation so you know in your home that's where changes are happening as well that's where the north node is so all right i think i will leave you with that thank you so much for being here you are very appreciated. Sending you my love and my blessings to all of you.